Hey guys, you're watching DShack Tech, and today I'll be reviewing a free application called Pangolin. It's a simple game with trampoline physics and addicting gameplay. So with that, let's begin the review of Pangolin. So Pangolin is a physics-based arcade application that allows you to control the character through the creation of trampolines that are able to propel them through various environments and surreal landscapes. The overall gameplay is very simple and quite addicting. You only have a limited amount of trampolines to use in each level. It tests your reflexes and wits because timing, strength, location, and angle of the trampolines are absolutely key. To create a trampoline, just tap simultaneously with two fingers. Um, you can create different levels of strengths of trampolines by how far away your two fingers are, and the placement of your fingers determine the angle and location of the trampoline as well. One very nice additional gesture is to swipe across to restart. It's very helpful when it's stuck on a level and you need to restart rather quickly and don't want to have to go through the series of menus to do so. You try to collect points by hitting the gold circles, and the three ge special gems located throughout each map add a ton of replay value. You can also gain points by having jumps left over after you are done and you finish a map um, by getting to the red and white target successfully. The visuals are very reminiscent of Tiny Wings with its textured background and color tones and cartoon feel. The audio also adds to the overall gameplay as well as its simple music and instruments that keep you focused on the game for long periods of time. A downside to Penguin is its amount of levels for a free application. They give you 10 levels in the first map pack for free which only lasts me about 10 or so minutes. But the next map pack called Exploration costs money, however. It does have 40 more levels that are more complex and challenging and engaging, which has actually stumped me for the last couple of days, but it's still annoying having to pay for it. Don't get me wrong, the Exploration map pack is extremely well done and worth the price. I just would rather pay up front for an application than have to pay for it within the application. I don't know, that's just me. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. So overall, I have to rate Penguin a 4 out of 5 with its simple gameplay that tests your dexterity and reflexes. It's a great game for any iOS gamer. Um, it lacks in the amount of free map packs that I was expecting, but it's still a great physics-based iOS game that I recommend to anyone. Well, that's pretty much it for this app review of Pangolin. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like it, however, leave me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it if you guys do. And check my channel, DShack Tech, for more app reviews just like this one. And be sure to subscribe to be notified when I upload more in the future. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and like me on Facebook. Um, thanks for watching. And as always, see you guys next time. It features three, um, I want to say squirrels, um, in a cart with wheels. I try to make it through serious obstacles, whether that be hills, lakes, blocks. There are three unique black and white options, and the last seven are all variants in some color or contrast variations. It is similar to Instagram's preset effects, um, although physical cam has simpler effects than much.